Hello, all you lovely people. I've got a beautiful recipe for you. This is the most incredible rhubarb and custard tart. It's soft, gooey, gorgeous. It's got crumbly homemade pastry. It is an amazing thing that you can make with your friends and family. So what I'm gonna do is split it up into the three parts. We've got the pastry, we've got a custard, and we've got a beautiful rhubarb and apple compote, okay? We're gonna make it look amazing. Let me show you how to make the beautiful compote of rhubarb and apples. It's a great combination. So first up, this is forced rhubarb. And I'm gonna take the floury end off, but the beautiful stalks, that's the rhubarb, is amazing. There you go. All the leaves have gone. We'll compost this. We definitely don't wanna eat this. Um, we've got a kilo of this lovely rhubarb that's been washed. Just cut it up into like chunks about three centimetres in length. Get yourself a nice large pan and on a high heat, medium high heat, I will add the rhubarb. So to go with this, I'm going to add some apples. So I've got three beautiful eating apples, about 500 grams, and I'm going to peel them. So using eating apples is really nice, they've got good texture. Um, each different type of eating apple has completely different flavour and texture. You need 500 grams. So, peel them, quarter them, and then, then get rid of the core, cut them into three centimetre, then just cut them in half like that, big chunks. Stir in the apple like that. You can hear the heat happening now. 125 grams of sugar goes in, and then a little swig of water. Loads of liquid will come out of the rhubarb and the apple, it smells amazing. So I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit, so it's just above medium. 15 minutes of cooking until tender. So, for the custard, I wanna go old school. In a pan here, it's not on the heat yet, um, we're gonna go in with 500 mils of lovely milk. Grab yourself a tablespoon, a tablespoon, not a dessert spoon. And we're gonna go in with a level tablespoon of the custard powder. Do that three times, so 45 grams of custard powder. Just whisk in this lovely powder. Now I can put the temperature on. So into there, I'm gonna add like two or three tablespoons of golden caster sugar and a good teaspoon or two of vanilla, right? So do it as much as you like. I'm gonna put two teaspoons in, look at that. Just whisk that up. So in no time at all, as that milk comes up to a simmer, can you see how it's thickened? So as this kind of just cooks out for a minute or two, have a look at this. Look, oh, it's getting really bubbly. Look at the colour. Look at the colour. I'm taking the lid off because it's getting excited in there. So into this baked blind pastry tart, so you can see it's steaming now, that will cool down for 20 minutes and naturally a skin will form on the top of that custard. So this has had 15 minutes. Turn it off and we're gonna pour it into that colander. Now, there's a reason that I do this, right? You've got the most incredible natural juice that comes out of this compote, okay? Look underneath and look at that beauty. That is extraordinary, right? So what's brilliant about this little method is gravity and the natural kind of filtering of this compote gives you two things. It gives you the perfect consistency to go on that custard and then you get this incredible, natural, almost cordial that we can just boil up a little bit until it's thick and you can drizzle it over your tart. So I'm gonna let that cool down and let that cool down and just for one minute, let that kind of reduce and thicken and then I'll show you what to do next. So I've just been rolling out the ball of pastry. So this is about the thickness of a pound coin. The custard has cooled down and you can see that natural skin. It's quite robust, okay? So now I'm gonna put our amazing compote straight in the middle and then just use that spoon to flatten it out. Beautiful. So what I wanna do now is get this beautiful pie top on here. I need a little bit of glue. So obviously we're gonna use egg wash. So I've just beaten up one egg here. Just go around the little edge here, super simple. What I'm gonna do now is go to the edge of our pastry and put it around your rolling pin and then just roll up the whole thing, just like this. 
and then very simply then unroll it over the top like that and then you use this rolling pin again just to go around the edge it's quite annoyingly satisfying to take or kind of crimp off the pastry really simple really easy and then we can use this pastry here to make some decorations right so we're going to dress this up now and this is all optional extra stuff right just take some almonds flaked almonds right and a brilliant little tip is if you put some icing sugar just a teaspoon or two right don't need much and a little bit of water just a few drips of water right you mix it up like this and it goes a little bit claggy and if you sprinkle this over the top like this when that bakes these almonds will be the best almonds you've ever had then have a look at this i've got ahead of the game how amazing they are right so no talent has made this at all i've cheated so if you go online you can get these little marzipan or pastry cutters they are two a penny they are cheap as chips let's have some fun with this so i'm going to take a big one like this go in you push down and then you must press the top bit like that then it comes off like that and you just prise it away and once you've got that then we can lay this on our beautiful tart look at that so we can do that with a few different shapes and then i'll use the rest of these just to finish off this beautiful tart and it just makes your rustic tart just look a little bit more special last but not least a little bit more of the egg wash you can give it a last little pinch of sugar that's it job's done i'm now going to put this in the oven at 180 degrees celsius which is 350 fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes until golden and gorgeous you're gonna love it so there you go that is our incredible rhubarb and custard tart it's gone gorgeous and golden look at the little almonds here they've just kind of frosted in the most beautiful way so look let's just get into it because i want to show you exactly what's going on on the inside you ready look at that oh, crispy pastry gorgeous topping the almonds the rhubarb the custard right let's plate this up it's gonna be really special take some of that beautiful liquor the syrup from the rhubarb and just give it a little drizzle on the top enough yapping time to eat mm -mm. amazing so there you go guys an absolute classic flavor combination beautiful crumbly homemade pastry if you want the full recipe then go and check it out on my jam app enjoy <laughs>